Hey everybody, this is Jeff Butts from the Mac Observer, and I'm here to show you another trick that we found about multitasking on the iPad on iOS 11. I wish I would have known about this with my first video on iOS 11 iPad multitasking, but better late than never, right? So here's the deal. What if you're in an app like Safari and you want to multitask with an app that you haven't had open for a while? Now, you might think, and I thought, that you would have to launch that app to get it into your dock so that you could then add it to either a slide over or a split view multitasking pair. Turns out you don't have to do that. Uh, what you do have to do is basically gesticulate in the right way. You have to, there's a very precise way of doing it. It requires two hands. So if you're holding your iPad, you might have a hard time with this. Here we go. I've got Safari up and running. I decide I want to switch over to Byword, my writing app. So I just press the home button to send Safari away for a moment. I locate Byword and I'm going to press and hold on the icon so that I can start to move it. Then I'm going to double press the home button to bring up the app switcher view. Now, I can drag the Byword icon on top of the app that I want to multitask with and then just let it go. And now I've got Byword in a slide overview on top of Safari. Of course, I can drag it into a split screen view and then adjust it however I want. So that's one way of using this particular method. Now, if you wanted to go straight to the split screen view, here's how you would do that. Again, you press the home button to minimize Safari, find the app that you want to multitask it with, drag it, double press the home button, hold the icon over Safari in the app switcher, and then just drag that icon all the way over to one side or the other of the screen. And then you instantly go into the split view mode and you can work that way. So that is another tip for multitasking in iOS 11 on the iPad. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be back with more as we find out more about all of the changes Apple is making in iOS 11. Thanks. Talk to you soon.